Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, wanted to go into a little bit of a key that I was helping a college player with the other day. Um, was having a tough time sort of finding the right amount of turn in the backswing and syncing that up with the arm. So uh, one of my favorite drills, and I put this up probably a couple times uh, a while ago, but I still think it's a good one to revisit, it is when you're using sort of one hand, what happens, okay? So it's a this one's trail arm only focused, right? So good setup. For, for this player, when they were doing this, their logo, their college logo wasn't really moving when they were doing their backswing. So it sort of looked like this almost, like very arm dominant. This didn't really help them. What we tried to do was imagine that there's a little bit of tension sort of on this back tricep to the ribs. And then imagining that the logo of their college team started to turn and face the camera okay so when I did that you know you can see that's just arm if I do little connection here a little bit of chest there or using that visual of the logo on, on the shirt right so that's giving me a lot more rotation through the chest it's gonna help the arm stay a little bit more in front so for this player was sort of here arm would move they would start to load and then they were in this position where the trail arm was quite a bit behind them so with this one we did single arm only using that connection you can even if you find it hard to manage this if it's too heavy just take that lead hand and put it on that trail arm just like this so now we're going to start using that chest to move that trail arm up really big stretch there through my sort of trail side oblique as I do it is really making my rib cage move in the way that I want. Now you can see the hands are going to be more here versus if I'm there under turn and then I'm starting to go the other way. Now I'm in a spot where uh, for this player some blocks and hooks. Okay so this would be the the offset of that doing the lead hand here really stretching the ribs. So now the hands are much more in front of my body. It feels like so much easier to get that club in a good spot through the downswing right so felt like the club was much more matched up with where my body was really nice hit got some nice compression on that one um, I'll do one more with that same thing if you really wanted to heighten the sense right so it'd just be like this and then just chipping some with that same feeling of keeping that arm connected with the body one other thing that happens actually is this trail shoulder through impact because it's staying connected is going to be moving this way again for lots of people that get this way too much that trail side gets a little bit sort of stuck behind them versus you know that way now that whole side's moving through really nice sensation again so feel that rib move and let that trail side move all the way through impact awesome sense give that one a try when you do a trail arm only, I try to keep it sort of under the shoulder for those ones. If it starts getting really long, it's pretty hard to manage. Give that one uh, a feel. Um, start slow. Start with a small swing and sort of build it up. And then get two hands on there. See what that feels like. I think you're going to get some really nice senses from that, uh, from that feeling. Especially if you're someone that the arms are sort of overworking the body a little bit in the backswing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.